Dear Innovators, Dr. Steve Diazio here, sending this update about the class, the semester, the challenges we're facing, and how it relates in relevancy to our class, to our topics, and what we are accomplishing here. So we are facing unprecedented challenges right now, medically, economically, financially, professionally, educationally, and our whole course deals with scaling and addressing innovation, the development of new services, products, uh, reinventing models, reinventing business models, reinventing how business is done. And we have a challenge uh, that we're applying these learnings, tools, techniques, and, and concepts to. And I don't think there can be any other time in, in our lifetime that will potentially be as great as this, where innovation is so important. We have a shortages of masks, shortages of ventilators, shortages of, you know, safety. Um, how are businesses, restaurants, hotels, airlines, I would even say venture capital, uh, are going to survive. There's going to be mass casualties. Uh, people are already starting to be unemployed. Airlines might go under. Don't be surprised if Boeing goes under, if the US government, hotel chains will go out. Airline industries will change. Uh, will change. All of this deals with innovation. How are they going to do more with less, to do things differently, and to be able to scale them? In fact, one of my advisors, Henry Chesbro, who we've read uh, articles on who was the founder and coined uh, Open Innovation has written two or three uh, recent publications in Forbes and, and Harvard about what and how Open Innovation contribute can contribute to solving the challenges of, of creating supply for masks and ventilators. <clears throat> and very interesting. I'm, I haven't sent them out and we have enough to deal with, but realize these concepts may save the world. These concepts may change and protect many people in healthcare, may allow us to pivot our business models in, say, Uber Eats, which is now not charging delivery fees. How are they going to survive? Um, how are they, uh, how are businesses going, restaurants going to pivot, service industry going to pivot? We are whole our whole entertainment is changed and we're starting to see that the call to making the big tech villains of the past telling them to break them up now we're asking for their help to support us in this difficult time and to support small businesses the workers and everything so uh this is an online course nothing is changing but know that the concepts that we are learning about and applying to our challenge cannot be emphasized of how important they are more than what we're going through today. So what's going forward? We have um, reflection writing log, a reflection video due on March 17th, which I think was yesterday, um, and milestone six, which is part one, two, three, and draft of four for March 31st. So of course you should be going through the content, being prepared, um, you guys have already been making presentations online, so that's not going to change. And you guys have been crushing it. Keep it up, crushing it. You're being a model. While all maybe you maybe you're applying that to your other classes, where your other classes were not face to face, or they didn't know what online virtual delivery of presentation. You're crushing it. Apply those concepts to that class, and you're crushing it. So I'm kudos to you guys. Your guys are what we call first mover advantage. Crushing it, apply it to the other concepts and, and classes, uh, and I wish you the best. So um, we'll move into mo module four, which deals with Juggard innovation. Challenges some of the Western views of how innovation works. This suggests that in times of crisis, relevant to today, scarcity becomes an impetus or a motivator for innovating. Think of MacGyver. When you're stranded on an island and you have two coconuts, how are you going to make it at a radio to call people? There are people around the world that deal with scarcity of resources that we don't have here in the Western world. No electricity, 
no access to knowledge or the internet, how do they solve their problems? And Jugard Innovation or Do It Yourself is a is a different model than the Western and American model. We'll talk about Chindugu, which is a fun exercise. Uh, have fun with that. And then finally, final presentations and pitches. Uh, you still, this needs to be a new presentation, but you should use all of the research that you've been doing for your midterm and before, shrink that, condense it, tell the narrative, and then that should be done in three to four minutes. So people think of, think of the audience not knowing what this project's about. The rest of seven, eight minutes should be your strategy, solutions, and make sure you are highlighting how you are using these concepts to solve your challenges. Some groups or some individuals have highlighted it more than others. You need to show, you need to show me that you've learned the content. These are tools of how companies, the world, the White House just opened a call for open models of innovating to use the data that's being collected for this virus and how to analyze it and how to provide solutions. We can't get more real than this, all right? We're in the muck and we're gonna solve it. And the people here will say in the Suncoast region, don't have this concept. Don't understand the tools that are needed. You guys are going to lead. The millennials are gonna pull us out of this virus. They're going to invent new solutions, new businesses, and the people who are running the businesses in the past, some of them are gonna die. And you will be the creators. So think about that. Uh, if it's using uh, 3D to print new masks, 3D to print new ventilators, 3D to print new services and products and add-ons to our existing life, our beer bottles, our custom, who knows what's gonna happen, all right? But you guys are leading the way and we're doing that in this project, all right? So. Uh, final reflection assignment, which is just a writing assignment you upload, video pitch, and then um, reflection for video, which you guys are doing, and then personal evaluations, how you're comparing your learning to what you wrote about in your charter. Have you kept yourself honest? Have you kept to your deadlines or have you just pushed it off? You know, this is your learning. You're paying for it. You're paying for it. And my question to you is, are you accountable to yourself? We only have so much time on this planet. You know, we're in a crisis. Are you being accountable to yourself? And does that personal evaluation reflect on you being accountable to your learning? So again, I'm here with you innovators. I cannot stress the importance of what we're learning and how it applies to the challenges the world faces, our region, our nation and industries. And you guys are learning about it. And that's why you as millennials and people um, like you are going to change the world once we get out of this black hole. So again, I'm on this journey with you. If you need to reach out, write the comments be below, uh, write thumbs up, because I want to make sure, write thumbs up, give me an emoji thumbs up or type thumbs up. So I know you're watching this video. You guys are crushing it. Let's push forward and let's really take this to heart because we will need this. There'll be another crisis. We can use it to create our own businesses. We can use it to our, in the jobs and industries that we have. So don't take it lightly. And I'm challenging you, put the work in and it'll pay off. So again, signing off, stay safe. And thank you for taking this journey with scalability. Uh, talk to you later, innovators.